Wiring a simple circuit. Begin by removing the upper Panduit cover. Remove the switch box cover on the lower left of the trainer board to access the switch contacts. In this video, a red wire will be used for the hot conductor. Strip back one end of the wire approximately one quarter inch, being careful not to cut or break any of the wire strands. Land the wire under the line terminal on the load side of the GFCI breaker. Cut the wire long enough to be routed into the switch box and reach the switch's contacts. Strip back the end of the wire approximately one quarter inch, being careful not to cut or break any of the wire strands. Terminate the wire on one side of the switch's normally open contacts. Pull a new hot wire into the switch box. Make sure it is long enough to reach the light bulb. Strip back the end of the wire approximately one quarter inch, being careful not to cut or break any of the wire strands. Terminate the wire on the opposite side of the switch's normally open contacts. Strip back the end of the wire approximately one quarter inch, being careful not to cut or break any of the wire strands. Terminate the wire on one side of the light bulb. A white wire will be used for the neutral conductor. Strip back the end of the wire approximately one quarter inch, being careful not to cut or break any of the wire strands. Terminate the wire on the opposite side of the light bulb. The other end of the wire will be terminated at the neutral side of the GFCI breaker. Strip back the end of the wire approximately one quarter inch, being careful not to cut or break any of the wire strands.
Reinstall the Panduit cover when wiring is complete. Install a light bulb. Any wattage can be used. Set the DMM to measure resistance. This will be used to verify the circuit. With the GFCI breaker in the off position and the switch in the off position, measure the resistance of the hot wire. The DMMM should read a very high resistance, or OL, with the switch in the open position. Turn the switch to the on position and repeat the measurement. A value less than one ohm should be observed. Okay. The same measurements can be performed using continuity. With the switch in the off position, a tone will not be emitted to signify continuity. With the switch in the on position, a tone should be emitted if continuity exists. Test the continuity of the neutral using the same methods. Before applying power to the circuit, measure the resistance of the entire circuit at the bottom of the GFCI breaker. With the switch in the off position, the DMM should display OL. With the switch in the ON position, the DMM will display resistance, dependent on the size light bulb that was used. Turn the GFCI breaker on, following all safety guidelines previously covered. Set the DMM to AC volts. Verify the incoming voltage by measuring at the bottom of the GFCI breaker. 120 volts should be present. Check the function of the switch using voltage. With the switch off, the DMM should display 120 volts. Check for voltage on the neutral. The DMM should display zero volts. Turn the switch to the on position. Check for voltage on the neutral. The DMM should display 120 volts. Use a clamp-on ammeter to measure the current of the circuit. Select AC amps. Assure the correct range is selected if the ammeter you are using has a selectable range. A 40 amp range is selected here. Place the clamp completely around one of the red, hot wires. Do not measure multiple wires at once. Amperage should be displayed, depending on the wattage of the light bulb installed. 0.35 amps is displayed here. Turn the switch to the off position and the meter should now read zero amps. Thanks for watching. Visit industrialmaintenancetraining.com for more resources and connect with our customer service team anytime at sales at mstservices.net. We look forward to helping you succeed.